When you're a true fan, you'll go all out, including your golf cart. Golf Carting TV is your inside source for the coolest upgrades, mods, and accessories to take your trusty golf cart from drab to fab. Hey there, and welcome back to Golf Carting TV. My name is Matt with Converted Carts. We're thrilled to have you back here today. So a few weeks back, I was down in Charleston for our very first Carts and Coffee. And if you haven't seen that video, I will click it up here uh, so you can take a look at that. But while I was there, I saw this uh, all orange golf cart, uh, an old club car DS, and couldn't resist going up and finding out what this thing was about. So let's jump in and talk with Randy and learn about what his favorite team is. Hey, this is Matt with Golf Guarding TV. I'm here with Randy. He's got this awesome DS, Tennessee Volunteers. Randy, thanks for having us out here. Tell, tell us a little bit about this cart. Hey, man, yeah. Uh, some of the work was already done by my buddy Matt uh, Smith. He's a fellow Vol, a good old Tennessee fan. So I fell in love with it, bought it off of him. And then over the last two years, I've started slowly adding a little bit of my own twist to it, put, put this uh, dash system on it just actually in the middle of still bolting it up you'll see i only have two or three bolts on here yeah, because yeah. i want to put on a couple of uh accessories later took all the lead acid off of it and converted it to a eco battery nice lithium it's a 105 yep yeah 48105 nice so i added that to it what um, have you noticed out of the difference once you added that in massive difference in the weight yeah. The takeoff speed, I get a little bit more top end. Okay. I'm looking to get uh, either a Navitas or an Eco controller and, and see if I can go a little bit faster yeah, on that yeah, side yeah, of it. For sure. Um, I'm running about 22-ish miles an hour, depends upon if it's me with the family or me by myself with some beer. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, That's that kind awesome. of thing. Speaking of beer. Yeah. So you got a cooler that is literally Tennessee you got to you got to dress it up. So I I, I found that thing in in a uh, Costco in Knoxville. So I said, "Hey, perfect spot for it." That's awesome. Yeah. And are you a fisherman or is this just a for so holding flags? This What's is the... twofold. I got a huge uh, Tennessee flag, of course, on the back, but then my boys will take this to the dock cuz we live right on the water and they'll throw fishing poles on the back of it. Kind of a dual purpose deal. That's awesome. Yeah. And it's got a lift, I assume, on it. Do you yes. know what size lift? It's Probably six inch, it's five a, inch. It's a six inch lift on it. Uh, I think it's all um, Mad Jack stuff on there. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's been fun. Seat, soft touch steering wheel. Yep. That's beautiful. Nice man. Well, thanks for giving us a, a quick quick shout out and quick view of your cart. Hey, it's awesome. Appreciate it. Nice meeting you. I love seeing how people customize their golf carts whenever they've got some sort of passion. In this case, uh, an alma mater, uh, they really go all out and it's cool to see all the little details that they put in there, um, including even a Tennessee orange cooler on the back. So great stuff. Hope you enjoyed watching that and hopefully you'll be back with us next week at noon on Wednesday every week. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, do all those great things so you don't miss an episode. We'll see you back here next week.